Hey, time to do a video. Uh, it's been some time, and so we're gonna we're gonna do some models. Um, I've been building like crazy. Uh, my comics are getting crazy too, but I just uh, I just haven't had time to to do anything. So tonight I finished my Death Dealer from Mobius Models. This uh, this is a great kit. I'm just gonna back up a little bit. Uh, great kit. Great artist, Frank Frazetta, the father, of, no question, of uh, fantasy art. Um, outstanding um, in every every way. I mean, his technique was off the hook. Uh, his, uh, his anatomy, uh, the guy could do it in black and white. He could do it in color. He could do it any way he wanted. That was the kind of talent that, uh, that Frank had. Uh, I've been to his museum in Pennsylvania. It's been a long time. It's when it was early on, uh, when Frank was still alive, and got to see this picture p painting up close. And I can tell you that it's uh, it's mesmerizing, uh, like all his stuff, as you can imagine. And so uh, Mobius did a great job. Just came out not that long ago. Uh, one tenth scale plastic, uh, skill level three, ages fifteen and up. Um, Modeling skills helpful to say the least, <laughs> but um, just an outstanding kit. You get this great box. It just uh, you get this uh, overlay thing here. I'm, just, I'm not even going to bother. Um, you get this overlay thing, and it comes off, and then you get this big. You can that's suitable for framing. Um, you also get a a built uh, example in the back so that. You can go, oh, I suck. And uh, when you compare yours to it, because it came out really nice. And I did a little different. I did, uh, I think it was by accident, the um, the shield, I went lighter color dark, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, and it looks good, but uh, I don't know how I missed that, but uh, I'm not going to sweat it. I, I, don't, I don't sweat the little shit, that's for sure. I... Uh, but I do, um, I do mind the quality. And so, without further ado, here it is. And uh, I just finished the blood on the axe tonight and mounted the hand. I had done some weathering on it and I just finished the base today too. It really comes out kind of washed out in here. But there are a lot more contrasts in there uh, with the bone and dry brushing. And there's, like, this is green here. Well, you can see it. I guess it's kind of green. But it shows up a little darker in, in life. And, and it's, it actually looks, it looks a lot better. Um, but that's okay. I'm not going to sweat that just for this video. Um, oil washes, a lot of washes, a lot, mostly a, all, almost a whole acrylic paint. Um, you can see the, the way I did the shield there. It looked good. I did a silver eye on the, on the mount because it looks great. Lots of, uh, lots of fine detail here that needs to be picked out. A lot of weathering, a lot of washes. Um, especially here I did a gold and then I washed it with silver and it just, like I dry brushed it with silver and it just pops. Um, same with the stirrup there with uh, a black wash and the gold saddle blanket with the gold with the with the black wash. Um, the same with the feet and the hooves, uh, the hooves, the feet, right? Uh, I did a I did black and then I did some gray on the. Uh, I guess those are withers. I don't know. I'm not totally familiar with horse parlance. But a lot of weathering and a lot of washes and stuff to bring out the details. Especially like on the shoulder here. Now that is actually uh, Tester's chrome silver. You know, the, the, the silver that doesn't dry. Um, and I found a great technique while doing this model. And uh, so the, that's actually Tester's silver with... Um, so what you do is you let the, the silver dry for a couple hours 
and it gets pretty tacky if you do a thin coat. It, it gets pretty dry. And then I go right over it with a, an acrylic um, wash, a black acrylic wash. And I let that sit for a while, maybe 15 minutes. And then I just wipe it. And this is what you get. It just, same with the helmet. Uh, only I did uh, a, a, a bronzish color there. Um, that is, uh, there, there are some enamels on here. That's a lacquer. The metal on the axe is uh, Tettles, Tester's Model Master, the, the buffing mass metalizer. And uh, I think, I think the, uh, the, uh, here, this is all buffing metalizer too. So uh, not a whole, all acrylic. Like the base coat's acrylic. This is Tamiya brown, Tamiya black. This is, um, the gold is old gold from uh, Vallejo. Uh, all the bronze and and that is uh, Vallejo paints. All the all this is all Vallejo paints. Um, all acrylic. And um, so there's the Death Dealer. I think it came out pretty badass. I do a wet and wet wash on the uh, on the spikes here. Um, I might hit them again. Just to, just to blend it a little better. Uh, flat red for the eye and then uh, go over it with some Tamiya clear red. Uh, same with the jewels on the, uh, on the horse. And uh, it just pops. Uh, wash on, the, on all the uh, flesh, which is just the, just the hand and the arm there. And that's how we do it. And it came out, I'm really pleased. This is a great kit. Uh, about five or six days working slowly to get the result we see here. And I've enjoyed it, and I hope you do too. I hope you get one and build it and have fun. Frank Frazetta, the great Frank Frazetta. Always a pleasure to, uh, to look at his stuff. And, you know, I, 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 that's an original Wally Wood there. I, you, know, you know me with my comics. So I love artists, and I love art, and... I could draw pretty well, but uh, nothing like this. But I can paint a piece of plastic to make it look pretty good. Mobius Death Dealer. Go get one. Thanks for watching.